On my MacBook, once I install Loom, I'm going to find it in the Applications folder. This is the Loom screen. It's a very small pop-up. I am able to record both my screen and the camera, which I did in the first video. Just the screen, just the camera. And I can record it full screen, just a particular window, and a custom size. You see that on my MacBook, it's using my FaceTime HD camera an external microphone that's built in and I've set it to the 720p or quality size for the recording. Up at the top the triple dots underneath the X on the blue bar allows me to get to preferences. I set the following default quality to 720p since I'm uploading it to YouTube it doesn't need to be high quality. I have also chosen to turn off show control menu so that the control menu doesn't show up when I'm recording. I've also enabled do not disturb so that I don't get pop-ups on the screen when I'm recording. Another option that might be useful is highlight mouse clips so that it assists people in seeing where you're clicking. We were looking at the settings. Now I clicked on to the shortcuts option this is so that you can see what shortcut keys you will use if you turn the menus off. And finally, account just shows what email address you signed up with. Back on the settings tab for default quality, the higher the quality, 4K HD, the bigger the file will be, the lower, 360p, the smaller the file will be. When I'm ready to record after I start the Loom app, I'll click Start Recording. Depending on the settings, you could get a beeping sound or it'll count you in on the screen so that you know when the recording is started. Now that I've turned on the side menu bar, I have the little stop sign for when I want to stop recording, a restart button, a pause button, a cancel button, and a drawing button. So I'm going to stop this recording and it automatically uploads it to your Loom account. And you can see from my Loom account that when I have the video uploaded, I click on the triple dots and then I can choose download. Once it's in my downloads folder, I can bring it into iMovie and do some short edits on it.